Best practices during development. How to use flavors in Flutter. In this video, we're going to define Flutter flavors, create an app configuration file, and create a build configuration for development and production. Flavors allow you to define different build configurations. For example, there could be a separate build for development and one for production. There could be different URL or API calls or even different icons and app names for different flavors. We're going to start with the default Flutter project. Open main.dart and delete all of the code that is there and leave the material import statement. Create a folder named resources inside of lib and it's going to hold the app configuration file. In this file, we can store the settings that we want to be different in our app. Import the meta library because we want to use is required. Import material because we want to extend inherited widget. Create a class named appconfig and extend inherited widget. If you click on the error, you should see that we need to call the missing override. Update should notify. Set this to return false. Next, we'll add the properties that we want to be different for the development and production versions of our app. Create variables to store the app title, build flavor and child, and make all of them final. Create a constructor and make all of these fields required. The child property will allow us to wrap the app with the inherited widget. Create a static function which will allow us to access app config from anywhere in our app. Save the file. Create main underscore dev dot dart and main underscore prod dot dart in the lib folder. Let's work with the development configuration first. Import material, the app configuration file, and main dot dart. We will need a main function, and inside of this function, return run app. Inside run app, we want to set up the configuration. Set the app title the build flavor, and the child widget. Save the file, copy everything, and paste it inside main underscore prod dot dart. Change the flavor to production. Save the file and open main dot dart. Create a stateless widget named home and return a material app. Set the title to be app config dot of context dot app title. Import app config from the resources folder. Set the home property to be a scaffold. Add an app bar and set the title to be app config dot of context dot build flavor. Add a center widget to the body. For the child, copy the title property of the app bar. Open a terminal and type flutter run dash t lib forward slash main underscore dev dot dart and hit enter. If you did everything correctly, you should see development in the center of the screen and in the app bar. Similarly, you can do the same thing for the production build. 